Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to have another look at Production Line. This is a game all about producing cars and selling them, still currently in early access, but way further than when I played it last. I started on the biggest map right here, the Mega Factory, because why not and we're just going to explore the game a little bit, see what's changed and what it has in store for us. Currently, of course, we have absolutely nothing in our factory. It's time to set up a production line for our first car. Let's have a look at the car designs. We're going to produce a car with the only body style we currently have. I'm going to call this one Nate Alpha, the first car, because my company is called Nate Auto Industries. Now, I'm not yet sure what I'm gonna sell it for, I'm gonna decide on that a little bit later, but it's basically going to produce a random color once we send it through the paint station. But let's set up all of these stations first, maybe. In the building menu here, we have the various work steps we need to take in order to build an entire car, and we can just grab the chassis assembly, for instance, and it looks like that. However, in the future, once we've done some research, we can even break down the chassis assembly into its individual parts. So we're starting fairly easy, but it's gonna get very complex as soon as we start breaking down the parts and then later on even building them ourselves. For now, we're going with the big workstations. I'm going to take this entry here as a resource input. So I want my chassis assembly approximately here. So if we scroll down a little bit closer, we can see how it looks like. And if we zoom further away, we will get more general information. The next station we need to add is the fit body station. Now, I want these to be a healthy distance apart. So let's maybe go with approximately five or so, just so that we have enough space in order to actually expand this once we go a little bit deeper into research or once we have to add more stuff. On this tooltip, you can actually also see the individual steps this workstation takes and that you can later on take yourself. And you can see the total time. This is over 31 minutes. So if I place this down here and we actually check this station, we can see this only takes approximately 13 minutes. If we only have one fit body station, then of course this is gonna get us absolutely nowhere. However, before we add anything else, let's do the rest of the stations. We have a paint station. Let's actually connect these with the conveyor. And I want to leave approximately five empty spaces before we fit the paint job. Next up, I'm going to place my fit engine workstation right there. We're going to need to fit a couple of accessories as well. There, You can see there are many individual steps we can take later on and improve on the design. We are going to need to fit electronics and last but not least, we need to go through a quality check right there. We also need to export it. One of these blue arrows is an export slot and we just need to connect this now. Beautiful. So now we have our basic setup and we have plenty of space to actually do substantial changes later on. First, the chassis assembly, fit body, a paint job, fit engine, fit accessories, fit electronics, and then quality check export. Cool. Before we can see this happen, we need to import a couple of resources. I'm going to import resources from here and also from here. And maybe last but not least, we can import some from here. We then want to use conveyors in order to bring the resources needed to all of these green spots. So maybe let's drag one big conveyor line all the way down. This can go here and then over. And we also, yeah, we already connected it with the third input. Then we're just gonna branch off whenever we need to. Just connect all of the green ones. Et voila, that should be good. Now we should be actually ready to produce our first car. So let's go a little bit closer and let the game run. The first thing you can see happen here is of course a lot of resources are gonna be imported. We need to wait for our first resources in order to actually fit the chassis. So there we go. They are incoming and my robots are going to work already. This is another expandable thing. We can have more robots later on. That actually reminds me, before we let too much time pass, there's one more thing we need to do, and that is add a research office facility. Actually, we're gonna probably fill all of this up. I still have two million bucks, I think we can afford it. We want to do very, very fast research, so this is gonna be all research offices. That actually did cost me quite a bit, but I think it's gonna be worth it, because there is plenty of technologies you can unlock. 
Within the processes, we first of all want to unlock more robots, just the thing I've been talking about, and maybe also improved efficiency, but let's start with the more robots. Good stuff, we can continue now. There are two more individual steps to take before our first chassis is assembled. There we go, we are done, and it's continuing along the line, of course, in order to fit the body. And you can see lots of steps to take, but we have a full stockpile, we should be fine. But this is going to take 31 in-game minutes, quite a bit. The second chassis is already incoming and the first fit body isn't even nearly done. It's just halfway done. So we already know we're going to need a second one. Let's not waste any more time and add another fit body workstation right there. We're also going to connect this with a conveyor like that. So every access chassis is gonna go towards the right. I can see here this one is not gonna be successful going straight. So it goes to the right and our second contraption. Of course, we must not forget to continue with the conveyors. So resources can income. We have researched more robots and we're gonna definitely make use of that in the future, but maybe not immediately. Let's go to even more robots, research now, and also improved efficiency. I'm gonna add that to the queue. What we're waiting for, by the way, is the opportunity to go into specializations. However, we need to first sell 10 cars. At the moment, my first car is being painted and it's now being dried, probably. My suggestion is to add at least another paint job because that also takes over 30 minutes. So second paint job, you go right there. We want to connect you with a conveyor and of course also your resources. The first car is almost dried. That is perfect so we can see it go into the fit engine part. And what do we get here? We get tires, brakes, we get exhausts, radiators. That's pretty cool, even the steering wheel. This takes 22 minutes, so it's a little bit better, but it's still not very fast. There we go, fit engine is done, and we're going to fit the accessories. We have some horns, some lights, seats, windscreens, so that's all happening in here. Last but not least, we have our fit electronics, and I think I think nothing is happening here at the moment, or maybe something is happening. Before we can sell it, it goes through a quality check. We researched even more robots. The quality check involves a couple of steps, actually. So now it's time to decide for a price. We're going to the export and it's being inspected by this guy, I presume. Let's go up to 26,000 or so, just to see if we can sell something at this level. I mean, it, it's a good car, right? There we go. So it disappeared and it now went into the showroom. Here you can actually see if the cars don't disappear quickly enough. Meaning if you don't sell cars at the same rate or more per hour than you produce, you might have to adjust the price and vice versa. Let's scroll back a little bit. We can now actually see what is going on. For instance, right here, we are already queuing up cars and that would be an indication that we need another fit body slot. However, if we do that, we definitely need another paint slot, etc, etc. So it's kind of a never-ending situation. We also just sold our first car, so no problem. We sold it before the second car even came in. So maybe I'm gonna bump this up to 28,000. We want to make some profit. Also, let's let the game run a little bit quicker. We have researched improved efficiency. We still haven't sold 10 cars, so maybe let's go a little bit deeper into the research. We want faster resource imports. That's definitely something we want. And we also want faster overhead conveyors. Eventually, we're gonna need so many materials that they cannot actually come quick enough. So that's why this research eventually is important. All right, cool. Our factory is coming along. We already have two cars in the showroom at the moment and we have more coming in. It looks as though we're gonna need another fit engine. I don't think there's any way around, but let's observe it a little longer. Four cars in the showroom, that's definitely not good. Now it's five. Let's go back down to 27,000. They need to go. Ah, we're down to five. So they are kind of selling, maybe not quick enough. We have the faster overhead conveyors, perfect. Hmm, this doesn't look good at the moment. Maybe we go into the technologies already a little bit, even though we cannot use anything just yet. But basically what you have to do is unlock the features first and you basically get nothing from it other than unlocking what's behind it. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to randomly research a couple of those while we are waiting. We just need to sell a couple more cars. Come on, guys. 
We can even see what's wrong with it. Wrong body style for most of the people, insufficient features as the second worst thing about this car. Let's do another fit engine. I think we desperately need it. We need to make this step a little bit quicker. Seven cars in the showroom. I'm gonna go down to 26,000. It hurts, but it has to be. Ah, there we go. My cars are being sold like crazy. Now we only have two or three in the showroom, which means we have sold enough to go into the specializations. The first thing I want to do probably is the paint specialization. It's just because that's painfully slow and it's something that's very easy to do. Paint specialization unlock that now so it goes in front of the queue and that means we will be able to replace this entire bit with something that makes more sense and is way faster. And research is completed. Perfect. Let's pause the game because now I'm being radical in removing these stations. We're gonna lose a couple of these cars but this is gonna happen a lot. We need to redesign every now and then. In our construction menu, we can now see there are new things. The paint is now subcategorized into its individual steps. And since there's no plus anymore, this is the deepest we can go. But now you can already see that painting the undercoat, so one of these steps, is only taking 4 minutes. That means we can have one of those, while the drying takes 12 minutes. So if we had 3 drying machines for one painter, we could paint the cars in just 4 minutes instead of the 34 minutes. Aha! So that makes it already much more interesting. And that is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to start right here with my paint undercoat. This takes 4 minutes, so 3 of those should do. This actually needs to go right here. I need to be able to do this somehow in this space, so I can only go up to this place. Otherwise, we're gonna interfere with whatever the heck I'm going to do with the fit engine stuff later on. So maybe, maybe, I mean, we cannot do it parallel here. We have to be a little bit more creative. We have a little bit of space into this direction, so theoretically it shouldn't be a problem. If we did something like that, hmm, that might actually work. That uses up just enough space, but not too much, and I can easily get this all connected. Let's actually also connect this. We don't need this anymore. The next step is the paint finish, which also only takes 4 minutes. Maybe we can even make it faster, but 4 minutes versus 14 minutes. Holy cow. Yeah, let's uh, maybe add it right here. Connect this up with the conveyors. And you go right there. Can I not? Oh no. Tell me I can actually hook this up, please. Like so. Yes. You just have to try hard enough. Good. So that means we also need at least three of the dry finish. One, two, and three. Thankfully, they are also not that big. Once we have dried them, we can uh, move on to the next process. There's still the polish work we haven't done yet, but we have enough space to add that later on. So for the time being, my suggestion is to move out here. Can we connect this and that? And then we just need to move down and thankfully we just have enough space to move around this and go in here. But yeah, that is going to be a thing I will have to change. As soon as I change the fit engine stuff, we will have to rearrange the belts. But for now, it should be good. Let's actually test it out. I still need to hook up my resources here. Are we good? Yeah, resources are incoming. Beautiful. Okay, where is the first car? Right there. Uh, first, we need to choose a research. Driver assistance. No, hold on. I want another specialization, I think. What else takes long? The body stuff does take a long time, but it is split up into several parts. Look at that. This is crazy. So many parts. Let's do the body specialization. We want to make this faster as well. There we go. Our first cars are coming in. You can see they are being painted fairly quickly, and now we can also dry them quicker. Makes sense, right? More cars incoming at the moment, uh, only two cars are incoming. Look at that, we're backing it up so much. Good thing we're researching the body specialization. Let's dive actually deeper into that. Body frame specialization and then maybe even the bumpers, though they do take a lot of research. I guess we can do the bumpers and the arcs later. Or archers. 
All right, well, you look at that body frame specialization. This is going to make it so much easier to get rid of this queue here. We could even dive deeper by going into door specialization. Take apart the door. I mean, this is insanity. Let's do it. Let me actually check that out. Fit doors. Yeah, fit door panels. So at the moment, fitting doors would take six minutes or almost seven. The roof takes under five and the body frame takes a lot. However, we can divide that into individual steps that don't take quite as much. Actually, very little. We are, we are still selling our cars well. I'm guessing maybe just, you know, bump it up just $500. Nobody has to notice. Our paint shop is working fantastically. It's really the bodywork that is the hold up at the moment. And this is why we researched the, the doors right now. I'm gonna go into chassis specialization right now. I think that is also important. However, time to pause the game again and get rid of some stuff. You, I don't need you or you anymore. And I'm sorry about everything I delete here. All the beautiful chassis that were already built. I don't know how to save them. All right then, fit body frame. We want to do the shell first, yep. Let's see, that actually takes three minutes. That's not too bad. We probably only need one of those. And you kind of have to go here at this point. Let me get rid of that. I need all the space right now. So let's say maybe everything below four minutes or so, we only need one off really. And that also means we can build it as close as we can to the previous machine. So fit body shell, fit hood. Next, we want to fit the trunk. Then we want to fit the bumpers, which could be divided into two separate machines. Mm, so maybe we leave a space free and just place a conveyor. So later on, we can actually make that change. The bumpers do take four minutes at the moment. One here, one there. Next, we need to fit the bottom trim, only taking two minutes, nine seconds. So we can place that here. Then we need to fit the arches, which takes four minutes. Later on, we need two machines once we separate this anyway. So let's place two machines right now as well. So that's one and two. Oh, we're already getting close to the research center. That's not good. Well, the last thing we need to do for this category is to fit the vent, which also only takes two minutes. So maybe we can actually fit that over here and then we just turn around, I guess. So fit body frame is done. All we need to do is set up the conveyors. You go in here, you follow up, follow up. Here we need to split up and kind of come back. Here we split up again and come back into this belt this time. Hmm. And now we need the space to still fit the roof and fit the doors individually. So that's split up into three machines. The roof, we probably or possibly need two of. Actually, thinking about it, not necessarily, because we could just add more robots, right? Let's say, for instance, fit the arches, arcs, whatever. We can buy some extra robots. Now it's taking four minutes, and with one upgrade, it only takes three minutes, 43 seconds. With another upgrade, it only takes three and a half minutes. And we could even do another upgrade, which would probably bring it down to 320 or so. That means we don't really need the second machines for the time being. Maybe let's solve it this way. Let's get rid of that. This means we can save up a little bit on space right now before we can expand the factory. So now we can fit the bumpers directly after the first machine here. It takes four minutes, 42, but we're gonna buy some upgrades and we're down to four minutes. I mean, one car every four minutes is not, not bad. Bottom trim, you go right there. Do we need, no, we don't need upgrades for that one. Fit arcs goes right here. For that, we want to purchase the upgrades. And last but not least, fit vent, which is fast. Yeah, I think that's better for the time being. Now we can simply fit the roof. This does take a while, but still only four minutes with a bunch of upgrades, I guess. Let's buy two upgrades. Yeah, even under four minutes. Last but not least, we need to fit the doors. We're going to do the individual steps, which are all around two minutes. So easy peasy. We can do that on the way back, I guess. We have enough space now. So fit doors, fit windows here and fit wing mirrors. Good. And now we go all the way back and connect up with our paint shop here. Let's not forget to hook up all of our resources. We can actually do that very easily. The conveyor system is very generous in that regard. 
Good stuff, good stuff. Are my resources in? Hold the phone. This is wrong. There's something wrong here. <sighs> okay, much better. Good. Unpause the game and let's see what happens. My chassis is incoming. There we go. It was waiting for materials. And now this is gonna go quick for each individual step. And of course that means we're gonna pump out a car at least every four minutes. Chassis specialization, we have done that. Is this continuing? Yeah, we can even split up the axle. Let's uh, do the axle specialization. Uh, maybe after that, we're gonna do the engine specialization. However, my first car is now assembled here, at least the body, and we can see this is gonna up the production for my paint shop substantially. Now we can paint cars every four minutes at least. And you can see also all of the drying slots are now being used up perfectly. As soon as a car is finished being dried, the next car is actually incoming. That's what I'm talking about. Engine specialization done, thank you very much. We wanna do steering wheel specialization now because that also splits up the steering wheel and we also want to split up the wheel in the end. Ah, oh, look at that, that's what I'm talking about. Now, my fit engine station is gonna be in a lot of trouble. However, I think we have unlocked it. Fit engine, yeah, we now have unlocked the individual steps, which all take below uh, four minutes, except the wheels, which we are researching now, and also the steering wheel. So I guess as soon as those researches are done, we're gonna set up the fit engine here. Okay, guys, it's actually time to improve the value of our car a little bit. It seems as though we cannot sell it for too much. However, if we add a feature such as fit an aircon, then maybe, just maybe, we're gonna be more successful. I think we're ready to set up our fit engine part. What I want to do first is maybe add another fit accessories here because that definitely cannot keep up at the moment. Conveyor okay, for you, buddy. There you go. Okay, are we ready to delete this? I think so. We are researching air conditioning at the moment, so we just done that. Let's pause the game and maybe install that right away before I forget about it. I think I have to install it after the fit electronics. Uh, or maybe fit accessories. Ah, okay, so after fit accessories we want to fit an aircon. I'm just gonna add that right here for the time being. We can do it much better later on. What we also want to do is actually add that to our car. So we have to activate that for our car, which is gonna make it way more valuable because that's a feature our competitors don't have. I'm gonna try to sell it for 30,000. However, what we also have to do is set a discount for the people that buy a car without this feature. You can see uninstalled feature air conditioning. So we can give a discount for uninstalled features. Let's go to 20% or so. And then maybe we're gonna sell those few cars still. And now the air conditioning is in as a step for the cars. Nice. Once again, it is time to demolish a couple of things. So I'm gonna start right here. This is my fit engine setup. Fit engine. We're gonna start with a powertrain. This takes two minutes, 45 seconds. Great. Then the fit radiator, also under four minutes. Fit exhaust, also under four minutes. Well, I have to say, sometimes you can actually add upgrades that will add to the time, so we have to be careful about that. Six minutes for the wheel assembly, however, we can break it down into two minute steps. So first fit the brakes, fit the wheels, and fit the tires. And last but not least, the steering wheel. We can fit the column first and then the wheel. This takes two minutes and the wheel itself takes five minutes. Hmm, so that's over four minutes. I wonder if I can get it to four minutes with a bunch of robots. Oh, there is also stuff you can add here. Yeah, we definitely need more than just one. I could get it down to four minutes, 15 seconds, but that's not enough. Let's demolish this again. Fit steering wheel, we need two of you. Maybe we can, no, let's do it like that. And that was actually already everything about the wheel. So maybe let's go ahead and go back down here. Connect this up, connect you up, and we are already done with our fit engine parts. Everything should be connected at this point. Materials are coming in. Let's check this out. Car is coming. Fit powertrain. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Just putting everything in one item at a time, but way faster. 
We're done with the axle specialization. That was what I was waiting for. So maybe another thing we can do. Is there something like a power? Yeah, power production unlocks facility power plant. Let's do that. However, now we have the cars with the air conditioning in the showroom. And it seems as though they are going away rather quickly. So let's go to 32,000. Nice. I would say we don't have enough cars in our production. And of course, this is the hold up here. We now need to rebuild this. Chassis assembly, go away. I got some plans for you. We can now fit the axles individually, taking less than four minutes. So I guess we can just go ahead and do that, go into this direction. We do it the same way as everything else. Fit rear axle also takes 2 minutes 15 seconds. Then we want to fit a drive shaft and the undercarriage taking 2 minutes and the fit fuel tank taking 4 minutes. So everything is still within the 4 minutes margin. I wonder, I could do this into this direction. This wouldn't really hurt me because I already rearranged this. Let's do it like so. It's a little bit of a waste of money removing this. You don't get as much money back. So drive shaft, rear axle and front axle. Perfect. This is going to produce a car exactly every four minutes here. We could even increase that, I guess. Now it's every three and a half minutes. Okay, let's see this happen. Resources are incoming and we are assembling our first chassis. We have our power production in the joint. However, I suggest now it's time to add more features. Like auto steer headlights, what do we need? Steering specialization, yeah, we could add that, why not? Power steering, I say we do that. Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. Now we have cars coming in, we just need to wait a little bit for everything else to catch up. And then once we're done with the power steering research, we're gonna add that feature too. Power steering unlocked, we can directly upgrade from here if we want to, but I kind of want to show you that within the slot. So we're first gonna choose another project. We could upgrade uh, cruise control as well. That sounds delicious, though it isn't marked with these symbols. I think that uh, symbolizes what your competitors are doing. So let's actually check this out. If we go ahead and add this feature to our car, we can uh, possibly add another 1000 or so to the price. I'm not sure. But as soon as the car gets to the part of the factory where this feature is required, we will see an error. Right here, actually, we can see fit steering wheel. We now need an upgrade. So let's click that. Upgrades. We needed the power steering because that's what we are installing. So we're going to do the same thing to the other factory here. Power steering. Bye. Thank you very much. Also, this added to our time, I think. However, we are still below four minutes because we have two of these factories. Okay, it looks like we have a little bit of a hold up here. I'm not sure. How long does this take? Only two minutes. But we do have insufficient resources every now and then. And that, of course, is a problem we have to fix. We now have the cruise control. I like that. Let's choose another research project. I think we're good with the features at the moment. Maybe we continue here. Maybe let's dive into the administration so we can unlock one of those features. Yeah, I think that might be a noble goal. At this point, I'm not sure what would be wise. So we want to add our cruise control feature. Yes, that means we might be able to add another 500 or so to the price. However, let's solve our problem with the missing resources. We need another importer here and simply connect that up. And that should actually already solve most of our issues. And there we go. Resources are incoming much quicker now. We could also have upgraded that within the research, but it's probably just as fine like that. Yeah, now we're getting it through without the missing resources stuff. And ooh, what's the hold up here? Missing upgrade, of course. Totally forgot. The cruise control needs to be added right here. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Now my hold up is still resources that are missing. Maybe I have to connect these conveyor belts as well. Or we just add more slots. I mean, look at this. This is outputting as fast as it can. There's just no, no more. Let's add another importer. And this is hopefully going to help. Yeah, guys, I think there is no way around it. As a last step for today, we simply have to remove the fit accessories and redo this. I'm also going to remove the fit air condition and fit electronics. I'm also going to do later. 
We want to fit the lights first of all. Only 3 minutes, fit the horn. 3 minutes, 30, fit the seats. Another 3 minutes. We can make all of these products as well. So that's another step we need to take on later on. Then fit aircon goes right there. This is actually fit windscreen is 4 minutes, but that's still fine. I mean, 4 minutes is my mark. The dashboard can actually be divided up into a few things. The cabin and then uh, the controls. Cool, and that was actually everything within the accessories. No, we still have to do the electronics, which can be divided up. However, that still means we are done with this step. All we have to do is connect this up and then come around here. All right, got my conveyors in place. Let's see how fast this is picking up here. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Cars coming through like crazy. Every four in-game minutes, I'm hoping. Well, not quite at the moment. Well, we can actually check. If we get a queue right here, then it is definitely below five minutes because that's exactly how much the quality check takes. And yes, indeed, we seem to be getting a slight queue. I love it. That is great. We even need two quality checks, probably. Let's add a second one here, just to be sure. Cool, now we just need to think about new features so the cards are more attractive at the moment. What uh, is your complaint here? Wrong body style. Okay, that is still an issue. What are we researching? Electronic specialization. I want to keep that very briefly because that's the last station we need to do, basically. I'm going to add tire pressure sensors. Well, that's not actually a feature people really want, do they? But maybe the driver airbag could be something, a feature we want to unlock after that. We unlocked electronic specialization. This is the last, very last thing we needed. Let me actually check. Do we even have something here? Yeah, we have a lot of unresearched stuff. But you can see what types of upgrades you would add here, like Bluetooth support and stuff like that. It cannot hurt to have it already built, though. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fit electronical components. I guess right here and then fit computer right there. So that's really all we had to add. Now we actually have 27 cars in our showroom at the moment. Let's bring down the price a little bit just to get rid of them. But I guess we also should add the airbag feature after that. And then maybe we should look into stuff other car manufacturers have that we should have as well. Yeah, I'm guessing stuff like that. Security features a car alarm. We already have the door specialization, so we could make use of that. It's still very rare in the mid-range, which is uh, what our car is at. However, we could also get another body style. Most of the people that don't buy my cars are not into the body style. We could also have different body styles. I mean, we decide on the body styles in the very beginning, I guess. But yeah, I guess with that out of the way, we're going to wrap up this video. Let me know if you want to see more of Production Line. There are still quite some features we haven't touched on yet because, of course, the research isn't done. But I think so far so good. We seem to be getting one car approximately every four minutes. And now we just need to sell them. We're also making good money again. We're well above a million. But yeah, with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.